Hello and welcome to another video from me, Mr. Firebug. Um, this is a follow-up video from the Corsair um, Commander Pro issue that I made a video for. And I've had loads and loads of comments and it's been absolutely amazing. So thank you very, very much for all of the nice comments and um, all of the ones that are sharing information to try and solve the issue. Now, there is another thing, and I've been kind of working with it because it seems like the issue isn't solved for a lot of people, which is kind of like a little bit weird because, like I said, um, all of those three steps that I went through, I did them and then they worked. And then it did it again to me, and I was like, oh, okay. So I went through the same steps, and it still did it. So I was messing around in the back of my computer because I needed to kind of like work out what was going on. Now, if you can, as you can see on my uh, IQ program, uh, theory this is everything I've got from Corsair and it's in the back of my computer now what I've noticed is if you've got two commander pros you need to daisy chain them properly and also you need to make sure that you've got the right power supply as well if you haven't got the right power supply now I've got a 750 uh, watt in mine um, and that is capable of running all of the RGB stuff plus the um, my uh, coolant system for the processor um, but you need to daisy chain them properly. So the way that I've done it is um, I've plugged only half of the fans because I run about eight fans. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight fans. I've got eight fans of mine. Plus I've got the, um, the H115i RGB Pro. GXT for the processor. So what you got to do is you kind of got to split it so there's not more power going to one Commander Pro because what will happen is it'll trip it. And so I've measured, I've basically worked out with the two Commander Pros that I've got that the way it has to be daisy chained. So I've got, I've also got the strip lights as well. So there's quite a lot going into a commander pro now if you just pl pull everything into one commander pro i think that the commander pros and this is just my opinion guys please um comment down below if if, if it's not correct um but i think the commander pros are basically they're just absorbing too much power they're basically pulling in too much power and then something's tripping and then that mistake is happening so by using two commander pros you can offload the power consumption for, from both of them so the way that I've done it is you've got half of the fans in one and half of the fans in another. So I've balanced out the fans between the two. I then plug the uh, strip lights and the, uh, the uh, CPU cooler. That's in the top one. So then you've got the first one, which has got the top one. That's got all of the, um, the stuff on it. And then that goes to the next Commander Pro. So it plugs into the Commander Pro, and then that Commander Pro then plugs into my Nexus uh, header, and that has solved the issue. So it's basically working out the daisy chain that you need to do between the two Commander Pros, because you can't just plug both Commander Pros into the RGB hub, um, because that doesn't work, um, and your computer will have a meltdown because of it. And that also keeps in tripping it because even though you've got loads of headers on there and you can just keep plugging them in, it still doesn't do it. It's for some weird reason it still trips and your computer won't recognize everything you've got. So I've split, I've basically plugged them both into each other. So you've got the Commander Pro that plugs, um, the Commander Pro then plugs into there's a top bit just here where my Commander Pro, so this one is plugged into this one and then that this one is then plugged into the uh into the nexus so that's the way uh, i've done it now actually doing the data chain properly and sorting out and distributing um the power between all of them is actually working really really well and it hasn't tripped for the next, last couple of months for me so this is kind of like to everybody who has tried all of the three methods and I kind of wanted to just make another video to kind of say to you guys, like, you know, thank you so much for the support over on my YouTube channel. Um, 
I haven't done my YouTube channel in a very, very long time, but this was an issue that I was having. I noticed that a lot of other people were having that, um, that issue. So I needed to kind of like just make a video to kind of say, look, I kind of solved it. So mine hasn't gone in four months. It has not done the disconnect and reconnect. Now, it stopped doing it after I data changed it properly and I bought a new power supply. So it could be the fact that I've, ch I've changed them in the right way and that has now balanced out the power consumption between both of them and that stopped the glitch from happening or it could just be because I got a new power supply um, so yeah new power supply guys or try the data chain first though because that's the cheapest because <laughs> um, you're going to be looking at quite a bit of money for a brand new power supply especially to get up to the consumption that these computers need because you have to remember we're trying to run all of the fans, all of the coolant system. Um, I mean, mine's just a big shiny box, really. But thank you very, very much, guys, for being here and uh, look, watching this video. And if you have from the original video, uh, thank you very, very much for coming back and looking at another video of mine. So thank you so, so much. Also, I would like to call out a few of the people. So some of the comments that I got was absolutely amazing. So thank you so, so, so much to everybody who... Uh, commented and some of them made me laugh and some of them just some really really nice words so thank you very very much to everybody who um, who commented so let me just pull this over so we're gonna bring this up so yeah we've got a few um, having the issue with the uh, H150 uh, Elite um, I have a single USB um, in my motherboard uh, USB adapter, thank you very much for the, your step, um, uncheck all of the USB and it's now working, thank you very much. So thank you very, very much and I'm, I'm glad that it fixed the issue for you. Um, this one made me laugh right here and you're probably going to be able to see the names. If you can't, then I'm sorry, I'm just not going to call people out. Um, but it says, fucking brilliant, I am a, uh, I am a, I, a 20 year um, IT pro and I didn't even fi uh, figure that one out for myself. You know what? That's perfectly fine sometimes you just don't um, but there's loads of them that you guys have messaged and you can't figure out or you kind of gave me some information there is one here that I got a day ago um, that says that his computer is freezing up as well um, honestly that just really really sounds like you want you you need to install the IQ software but also dude um, I've never ever had it freeze up a computer screen if you guys have had it up to freeze up a computer screen, then please comment down below because that's never ever. It, both of my screens are perfectly fine. They've never froze up. Um, and if you're having that issue, then that seems maybe it could be a power issue and you may need to get a new power supply. Um, but yeah, and then this one that was in um, another language. I don't speak any other languages apart from English, but I did. Um, Google Translate it, and it basically says he can't resolve it. Um, that's perfectly fine, dude. Um, just keep and trying. Like I said, maybe it's your power supply. Maybe it's the daisy chain. So, like I said, when you kind of like linking your Corsair Commander Pros together, make sure you plug one Commander Pro into the other one. Uh, because I have did it the other way. I just plugged them both into the Nexus, and it did not recognize half of the stuff. It didn't recognize my uh, coolant system. And it didn't recognize um, half of the fans as well. So um, this one is set up um, with this one is the fans. So I've got the fans on the Commander Pro, uh, the first Commander Pro. They're just the fans. And then the lights, um, no, six of the fans and the lights are into one Commander Pro. And then the second Commander Pro, uh, this one here, uh, this one has got the other fans and it's got the, uh, it's just got the fans on it and it's got the um, coolant system plugged into it. So that's how I've set mine up and it's worked. So please look into distributing the power properly between the multiple Commander Pros that you've got. And if you're just using one Commander Pro, it might just be because um, the power, because I think it basically comes down to power. I think that's what the issue is. I think it's l like it's the Commander Pro is basically asking too much in the way of power. So you might want to 
buy another Commander Pro and link them together and then distribute the power between them. Um, or get a different power supply. Um, and I'm positively sure you guys have already thought of this. I just thought I'd make a video for it. And anyway, once again, thank you very, very much, for, guys, for watching this video. And watching my last video as well, because that was amazing. Thank you very much for all of the nice comments. Um, it's always nice to kind of see that. Any, any other way, um, please follow me on Twitter. And I've got, I mainly go live over on Twitch. I play multiple different games. So you can come and follow me over on Twitter. And you can see when I go live there. Um, other than that, thank you very, very much. Bye for now.